Ah, Kali Linux, you're probably using it wrong. And if you keep this up, you are gonna end up like that guy who Googled how to hack Wi-Fi and accidentally turned his router into a paperweight. Kali is like the Swiss army knife of cyber ninjas, packed with tools for hacking, pen testing, and digital forensics. It's not your average Linux distro. It's the break into things legally. But here's the problem. Newbies treat it like their daily driver, and that's like using a flamethrower to light a birthday candle. Overkill and dangerous. Kali logs you in as root, meaning absolute power, zero safety nets, and one wrong command. Boom, system gone. It's like giving a toddler a chainsaw. Sure, they might cut some wood, but they're definitely losing a finger. Kali doesn't care about your comfort. Need a pretty app store? A working Bluetooth driver? A system that doesn't scream I'm a script kitty at your ISP? Too bad. This OS is built for labs, not for Netflix. If you try to daily drive it, you'll spend more time fixing Wi-Fi drivers than actually hacking. Running Kali as your main OS is like walking into a bank wearing a ski mask and shouting, don't worry, I'm just researching. Even if you're ethical, your ISP might flag you just for running constant port scans from your grandma's basement. Need to browse YouTube, edit a document, play Minecraft? Kali wasn't made for that. It's like using a race car to go grocery shopping. Cool, but impractical. Don't worry, I'm not saying delete Kali forever. Just use it right. Run it in a VM. Boot it as a live USB with no install, no permanent damage. This way, you keep your main OS safe while still flexing your hacker skills. If you want a normal, stable, and actually usable Linux OS, try Ubuntu, the I actually want to get work done OS. It's friendly, secure, and won't nuke itself if you sneeze near the terminal. Plus, it has actual driver support. Also use Parrot OS, Kali's chill cousin. Still packed with security tools, but way more stable and actually usable for daily tasks. Like Kali, but for people who shower regularly. Look, if you're new to hacking, don't start with Kali. Learn Linux first, understand networking, get comfortable with the terminal. Otherwise, you're not a hacker. You're just a person who installed Kali to run LS and take screenshots for Instagram.